Lukman Otunuga is a senior research analyst at FXTM. He gave us his analysis on what's been moving the markets. We had data from the second largest economy in the world quite positive and we can see this reflected in equity markets. Now, when we're breaking this down, manufacturing activity has risen to its fastest pace of growth in two and a half years at 51.7. However, though, when we look deeper into this, we had official manufacturing data yesterday which showed manufacturing activity actually slowed for six consecutive months below 50 at 49.8. On top of this, earlier this month, data from China showed service Services were slowing for seven consecutive months at um, 51.3. So, although we're having this positivity overall, though, it does show that China is still being impacted by trade developments. That's right. And we did see investors scared off a little recently in the wake of that Bloomberg report that suggested Beijing officials are perhaps a little unsure about whether or not they'll be able to reach a long term trade deal with the United States. How are markets feeling about that now? Oscar, it's been 16 months of trade tensions and look at where we are right now. I just feel this is a classical example of markets getting slightly ahead of themselves and the statement from China has actually opened a can of worms. For example, even if a phase one trade deal gets through, this doesn't really guarantee that trade relations between the two largest economies are going to improve. Now, okay, you know, perfect world and the phase one trade deal gets through, I don't think this will be enough to support global growth given how the impacts of existing tariffs are still impacting sentiment. So I'm going this with an open mind. Mm. And meanwhile, Donald Trump is, is seems to give us the impression that uh, he and his Chinese counterpart Xi Jinping are on track to sign some sort of an agreement, a trade agreement uh, at uh, a summit. We know that they were supposed to do that at the APEC summit in Chile, which has since been cancelled. But he, but he says they've found a new place at which something might happen. Are investors still hopeful of perhaps a, a partial trade deal or a first phase trade deal that might be signed? We can see some cautious optimism over this, and this is being reflected across financial markets. However, this is not the first time and may not be the last time that Donald Trump promises of a trade deal only for things to fall apart at the last moment.